Hey, what's up y'all? Welcome back to another video. So this morning I'm actually getting my day started pretty early. Uh, I got the truck already into the garage. Today what I'm going to be showing you is actually installing this sound deadener mat uh, from Noiko and also their uh, insulation. So those are the two layers that I'm going to be installing uh, on this truck. Just the driver's door. So let's get straight into it starting with the materials that you're going to need. This job is going to be done on a 2019 F-250. Also, it's going to work for the F-150s. Right, so here's my next video. This is going to be a fuel filter replacement and change. It's due, but let's get back on track. So we're going to use a 7 millimeter socket. All right. If you have a ratchet and socket, this is what you're going to need. 7 millimeter. Uh, a small pick. And here's a roller and I'll install all the parts and materials in the descriptions below so if you don't have this you can easily just press on the link uh, and go check it out so here's the car sound deadening mat 80 mil and this comes in a box and I have a few over there I'm also using this uh, this tape it's a uh, more of a cushion it could uh, prevent any vibration uh, within your door that doesn't can really fit some deadening mat uh, or insulation. This brings us to the red 150 mil that Noiko has uh, that this is going to get laid on top of the sound deadening mat. So you also need a box cutter uh, but this is essentially all the tools and materials you're going to need to accomplish soundproofing your view. So just a few reasons why I want to share why you actually want to soundproof your truck or vehicle. So even high trim levels within luxury vehicles uh, don't come with sound deadening or not much of it uh, just enough to get the job done especially driving diesel vehicles or in cars you're gonna hear the road noise and that's pretty much stemming from your tires right and uh, all the vibrations from driving around the road you will hear them and they all add up sometimes it becomes a little annoying and so this is why you actually want to go through the process diesels are loud also, I think every one of us listens to music. The music, the bass, the treble, everything adds up with the speakers. You get those small vibrations within your door panels and this is actually uh, decreases that amount of vibration so you just hear the music and not everything rattling around it. All right, so just to increase the validity of this, this whole process, what I did was actually drive out on the highway uh, for about a good, I think 10 minutes. And what I did was actually come up with the decibel uh, reader and I measured with a DBZ and this was uh, more so the uh, amount of road noise my truck was making at 70 miles per hour on the highway mostly flat so with that said let's go ahead and start the project all right so first we're gonna take out the door panel you're gonna need your seven millimeter socket and then you're gonna use this pry out tool um, I use a set of like three different kinds of these all the time honestly Okay, so first you're going to go ahead and pull out this corner piece. Just pull straight out towards you. All right, so next, one tool I forgot in the materials needed. Uh, you're going to want one of these. And you're actually going to put, there's a small divot right here at the handle. Go ahead, insert it. Pop it out, pull, and then this kind of edges out. All right. You want to make sure you don't break that. All right guys, so next step, you're gonna use your tool that I mentioned earlier. I'm gonna to have to bring you in for this. So, there's a small box portion right here that you're gonna to have to insert this at the inner portion right there. Try that out. What we're gonna end up doing is removing seven millimeter bolts. Again, I'm bringing you in. Remove one, two, three, four, five, and two that are gonna be on the bottom. All right, so all the bolts are out. Uh, remember, your electrical components are still plugged in, so don't just pull out and not care about anything behind this door panel. What we're gonna do is just kind of pop this out. Like that, push up a little bit. All right, now on the back, you're gonna have to release this cable. Remove all the connectors. 
All right, so let's go ahead and talk this cable because, because this is gonna save you some time. So this cable is actually gonna be on your door panel, all right, connected like this. What you're gonna do is actually use your finger, press this tab down, this one. Press this tab down, it pops out. What we're gonna end up doing is uh, having to remove this, which is fine because our sound deadening is gonna go across it. Uh, but what we're going to have to do is actually install some sound deadening on the outer door. So we're going to go ahead and remove this. I think it'll come off. There we go. You can see and make sure your window's up right before uh, starting this probably, that's probably something I should have mentioned. Anyways, but within the uh, inside of the door, there's some uh, manufacturer soundproofing right there. There's also a small little bit down there. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, start making some cuts based off of uh, how it should lay and I'm probably gonna cut it right here all across. Insert that piece going all across the inner door panel. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, install a sound deadening mat within the insides and then move out onto the this outer portion of the door. All right, so it's always good to just wipe down the area before you lay on the mat. And after you lay on the mat, you're gonna go ahead and use this tool. Uh, I like to just roll it right on across. All right, so I finished installing some sound deadening mat on the inside of the door. You don't have to get 100% coverage when installing this sound deadening mat because you're also gonna put some uh, back on the front of the door panel. So that leads us to our next step. Uh, and this is actually installing sound deadening mat on the front uh, of the door. So we're gonna go ahead and pull out one big sheet coming out of the 80 mil. Again, what you wanna make sure you do is kind of wipe it down so it has a nice, clean, dry uh, surface. All right, so what I'm gonna do is actually just try and stick the top portion. I'm gonna go perpendicular to the door and lay this mat. Uh, because this side gets a little tricky. I wanna stay within the boundaries of where all the plugs at the door panel actually attaches to the door. So you see one, two, three, four, five, uh, and that's it for this small section. So I'm gonna stay within those boundaries. Fold this over. And you can see how easy it is just to fold, maneuver around, make some cuts, uh, fairly easy. You can use this technique or you can do it however you want. Either way, this is user-friendly material. Right there, pop that out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue the process down. I wanna remember that uh, here's a, an attaching circle. You wanna make sure there's about a half of inch space around the circle. All right, because that's where the door panel is actually gonna sit. All right, so I finished laying on the car sound deadening up on this front. Uh, another tip and trick, so I've done, this is my third vehicle ever putting on sound deadening. You can use a car wash mitt. This one I really don't care about. Kind of get, you know, it, it can have some you know, dirt grime on this. Um, I put this on and just kind of rub around uh, the edges because sometimes it'd be a little too sharp. All right, so in order to put enough pressure, um, you kind of feel around. I wear one of these, glides right across, and if something sharp does catch, it's still thick enough to not cut you. So I put one portion right over here. This gets a little weird. I stay away from this. Uh, this is just way too busy. All right, so next thing is, it's time for the red 150 mil. This stuff's really simple, really easy. Same process, line it straight up. I'm gonna make a small little dash. You know, if I install it right there, I'll keep it right up there. I'll make sure your dash is good, you know, coming out about right there. All right, and that's all you really gotta do. 
You can do an X, I see the X um, either way. This pops out, this pops out again. All right, you're just gonna guide it straight through, cut another, another small portion, and boom, there you go. All right, so now that I've explained it, I'm gonna go ahead, I already removed this, go ahead, lay on the red 150 mil directly up on top, uh, and then I'll show you once I'm done, uh, pretty much the final product. Uh, that is before doing a little bit of work using some tape on the actual door panel, uh, but that's the next step. So let me go ahead and take care of this portion and be right back. So I finally finished laying on the red 150 over the 80 mil sound deadening mat. As you can see, it kind of stayed around that area, stayed off of that area, but uh, put some tape strips right here off to the edges. Um, kind of made everything look seamless, uh, smooth edges, and uh, I kept everything within the boundaries of the door panel. One other thing that I did was went ahead, put some tape strips right across, as you can see right here, right here and some going all the way across. So let's go ahead and get this thing back mounted on the door. All right, so I mostly have everything tightened up. I put all the bolts in, they're secure, except for the two lower ones, those are fine. I'm gonna go on a test drive, test the dust. All right guys, so I came back from the trip. I noticed a difference of four decibels. So that's how much it decreased. Now it only started at about 48 to 49 decibels and I use the setting DBZ and that's kind of just the overall range of all low, mid, high frequencies. It's not as significant as a, of a difference, uh, but if your vehicle is loud, you will notice, right? Because this truck is already uh, quiet. So well worth it in my opinion, honestly, and this is why I've done it. Uh, on my third vehicle so far. Highly recommend it if you have some time. Uh, buy the limited material. Actually, let me go show you again the tools and material required. So for this job, I used the 80 mil Noiko sound deadening mat, right? Uh, one box could finish the entire truck, just the doors. And if I do any more, probably need two boxes. Uh, I used their red 150 mil sound and insulation mat and just went right on top of the 80 mil I used some tape and i'll post the, the links of all of these tools in the description below all right guys so i hope that was a beneficial video for y'all uh, i'm not sure if many people actually know or put the effort into sound deadening uh insulation i recommend it i've done it on three of my vehicles um, I'm debating actually doing the back of the cab and then potentially the floors. So I know some people do the headliner, but I got a whole panoramic roof. So that's not, that's definitely not going to work out. I used one box of each material for this uh, project on my F-250. Same cab as the F-150. If you want to do the doors, you'll get by with, fine with one box of uh, each material and I'll post everything down below. But uh, until next time, which is gonna be very, very soon, I'm actually debating about uh, doing about, I don't know, an hour and a half long project. If you catch on drift, I may do it this weekend, I might do it next weekend, uh, but until then, see ya.